Hi guys, my name is Amber, I'm Dana's daughter, and I'll be your narrator today. My mom was challenged to draw a moose. She's never drawn one before, so this could be interesting. So, let's get into it. She started by looking at a lot of different pictures of moose online and had to decide how she wanted to go about it. She decided she wanted to go with the moose and the sunset. She isn't copying a picture, just using multiple references. She uses a rule of thirds to, the, to help decide on the layout and placement of the landscape and the moose. The first sketch looks really rough. She starts with a sunset photograph she ha has, then starts drawing in some mountains in the distance. The mountains further in the distance should be lighter. And then we're gonna add that second layer. Well, like, technically looking at it, it would be the first layer of mountains, but then, bef then behind that, the other mountains. And notice how the um, mountains, they aren't too pointy or too like flat. They're more like gentle waves in the ocean. So yeah, we're touching up the, mountains a bit, you know, just doing that. So, yeah, and then we're gonna add that skyline again. Well, we're gonna add the sky. And then, so, she duplicates the sky layer and flips it for the reflection down below. There's that funny sketch again. On a new layer, she's refining the outline of the moose. Moose are really weird shaped animals. Did you know that more people are injured each year by a moose than bears? Wow, that's so cool. The legs are looking kind of rough now, but they get better, I think. Right now, they kind of look like cow legs. Did you know that the front legs of moose are longer than the back legs? This helps them jump objects. Maybe that should happen with dogs, too. Maybe it does. I don't know. She can rotate the canvas on the screen to give her a better angle for drawing. Whenever she doesn't like something, she just erases it and starts again. Their antlers can grow up to six feet and can weigh as much as 65 pounds or more. Females can't grow antlers. So that must mean he's a guy. You should name him Arnold. Arnold the Moose. So do you, do you notice how Arnold's back antlers are a different sh shade than and his front antlers, that's so that you can distinguish them. So they're not just one big black blob. So here she didn't like how Arnold's back end looked, so she just fixed it. I mean, transformed. So in Photoshop, there's this one tool called Transform, where you can resize and adjust any things that you don't really like, like she did with Arnold's leg and his rear end. She drew a quick reference line with the pen tool to help get the leg straight. She just keeps erasing or sketching until she likes the form.
Did you know that moose weigh more than 1,300 pounds? That is way more than my dad weighs, like a lot more. So now she just keeps on tweaking the leg until she's satisfied with it. I wish I could do that with my legs. Now that she has a silhouette how she likes it, she duplicated the moose layer and flipped it for the reflection. She transforms it and uses a layer mask on the layer to make it more her water-like. Then painting on the layer mask, she uses a water shaped brush for a more ripply effect. She's adding more ripples and shading to the water. This is looking pretty good. But Mr. Moose still, look, still looks a little cut out. She'll fix that later. And now it looks like she's going back to the background and tweaking the reflection in the water. So now she's adding a bit of ripples to the water. The ones closer to us should be bigger than the ones farther away. Duh. She's now adding some more highlights and details to the moose silhouette. Even as a silhouette, the edges are often highlighted. So yes, moose love to swim. They can swim for miles. Did you know that? That's so cool. You'd just think that Arnold would just sink right to the bottom. So now she's adding some a really cool fur brush to the back of Arnold's back. So he looks fluffy and stuff to add texture and some highlights. So what do you get when you cross a moose and a ghost? A caraboo. There sure is a lot of highlighting, but it's looking nice. You know, I do wonder why all moose have like that little tuft thing, that little beard thing. Is there like a name for that beard thing or moose beard or what is it? Tell me down in the comments below. Moose can run up to 35 miles an hour. Wow. Arnold must run a lot. He must run a lot more than me. So, the spots where the sun hits the most should be the brightest spot. So that's what she's doing now. She's highlighting the moose.
Now she's drawing in some water dripping off the moose. He must have just gotten a drink. In the summer, moose eat, eat 73 pounds of food a day. That's more than my brother weighs. My brother's really annoying. And now she's using another brush to draw in the foreground. Some grass and some cattails. You might have noticed that the cattails come in groups of three. That's because in art, groups of three or odd numbers are pleasing to the eye. She's using some textures now to give it a more painterly look, as well as some brush stroke. What kind of facial hair does a moose have? A moustache. <laughs> now she's making some adjustments to the contrast, colors, and more textures, as well as adding a few highlighted brush strokes. And now it looks like she's adding her name, which means it's done. Good job, Mom. If you want to see more videos like this one, be sure to like and subscribe below. They might not have me in them, but I mean... If you have any questions you'd like to ask your mo my mom or anything you'd like to see her try, let me know in the comments. I'll bug her for the answers. Goodbye!